Our panel's here. Former federal prosecutor Elliot Williams, Molly Ball, senior political correspondent at The Wall Street Journal, conservative columnist Scott Jennings, and Sarah Matthews, former deputy White House press secretary. I'm trying to envision the voter who would go to the polls and say, you know, I was going to vote for Donald Trump, but then I found out he got the paperwork wrong because he had sex with Sermon Dan. I, I, I don't know I don't who that person that anyone, is. I don't know I don't, who that person is. I'm just not going to be this yeah. as a paperwork thing. The president being a convicted, convicted felon. For then? Hey, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Before we get into this clip, did you happen to notice that they labeled the one conservative on that panel a conservative columnist, but didn't label any of the left-wingers on the panel? In fact, do they ever label any of the left-wingers on these panels? The answer is no. This, despite one of the panelists being a former Obama regime official, another being a Democrat superfan of Nancy Pelosi, and another Republican whose only job it is to hate Trump and to demonize other Republicans. The idea they're trying to normalize is that left-wingers are the baseline, and anybody that opposes them is some sort of far-right extreme political partisan. In any case, let's get into this clip. Uh, Scott Jennings. Yeah. Um, this is a guy that you know, he's the presumptive Republican nominee for president. Um, it's it's reminding everyone of kind of what we went through as a country when he was president of the United States. Uh, okay, and by that, do you mean being able to afford gas and groceries, not being invaded by 8 million illegal aliens, and not being on the brink of World War Three? And I'm just kind of curious, like, how do you feel about defending him with these allegations out there? Well, there's nothing new has happened here. I think what you're seeing, uh, such a muted reaction from people, is because it's already priced in. It's baked into his candidacy. It's baked into who he is. Nothing. We we know all of this, and you know I, I don't have to. And no Republican really has to defend anyone's personal behavior to make this. Well, there jump, are a bunch of Republicans is, standing up behind him. You know? Well, but well, they're not they're not necessarily defending his personal behavior, but they would say things like this case should have never been brought. This is a terrible court. Uh, this prosecutor is a partisan act, whatever. And they would also say this. I don't care about sex paperwork, but I do care about that the president has driven us to an inflationary crisis and is going wobbly on our ally Israel. You're going to see Republicans all over the country make that argument. And, and I think whether he is convicted, whether the jury is hung, whether he's acquitted, I think this will move the needle for virtually no one. Here. God damn right. Exactly. It's all a very transparent scheme to interfere in this election by people who think they're justified in doing so. Honestly, just imagine for a moment that the tables are turned and Republicans are the ones doing all this. Would the CNN panel be defending it or would they be screaming authoritarian dictatorships? They would just lose their minds. In case you didn't already notice, this is yet another example of the Democrats and the media setting a standard, then throwing their arms up in outrage when that standard comes back to bite them. We went through all of this when Bill Clinton was banging women in the Oval Office with cigars. The Democrats and the media at the time insisted that this was all his personal life and had no bearing on his presidency. There were more calls on the House floor today for President Clinton's resignation, but does that reflect what the American public wants? According to our new poll, the answer is no. As news of this historic impeachment vote came, New Yorkers in Times Square were disgusted and polarized. No, I don't think he should resign. I think if history looked back and saw what this president resigned for, they'd kind of laugh at this point in history. That's how we got here. But of course, that standard is now inconvenient to the Democrats, so they have to change it for their political opponents. You don't so, think if he's convicted, it's not gonna make a difference no. at all? I, no. I mean, there was a CNN poll that showed that 24% of Trump backers said that if there is a conviction, that they would reconsider their support. I will admit that doesn't mean that they are gonna change their support, but they would reconsider. And I mean, on an election that's gonna be on the margins, then I think you would be worried about every vote. If you you, if you are someone who, I, I'm trying to envision the voter who would go to the poll and say, you know, I was going to vote for Donald Trump, but then I found out he got the paperwork wrong because he had sex with Sermon Dan. I, Good point. I, I don't know I don't who that person that anyone, is. I don't know I don't, who that person is. I don't think the paperwork wrong thing is, is I mean, to, to Sarah's point, I mean, he would be convicted for, uh, the perception is not going to be this yeah. is a paperwork thing. The president being a convicted, convicted, convicted felon. for then? If it's not a paperwork, what I mean, do you I, mean? I understand that you are technically correct. I just, <laughs> like, I'm just when anyone consumes this, it's like the problem with this case is no one can explain what he's actually being convicted for. It was obvious that the case was brought so they could put people on the stand to try to I personally mean, it seems embarrass. Simple. Them. They were That's paying. They were paying her to to keep quiet so that 
voters, particularly women, wouldn't think badly oh, of Trump before the election. October right? October of 2016, no one no one knew that Donald Trump <laughs> had had sex with lots of women out there, some of whom were not as well. No one could have possibly known. A human. <laughs> it really brings my piss to a boil. I still fail to see how any of this results in a misdemeanor that then magically turns into a felony that you put the current sitting president's main opponent on trial for just before an election. It's just completely nuts. She's blatantly lying here to prop up this sham of a trial. This is exactly why we call them enemy of the people. And don't you think for a second that she wouldn't be lying just like this to support her party imprisoning you for being a thorn in their agenda. Yes, it is true. This election interfering banana republic clown court is trying to imprison the sitting president's main opponent before an election over a document that was allegedly filled out improperly. Look, I hate to sound like a broken record on this, but what's happening is a very real threat to the country and every one of us. Every single thing they said that Trump would do, they are actually doing. But that was different. But with the delusional belief that they're doing it for good reasons. It can't be. It cannot be. If he is, he wins the election. There'll, <laughs> there'll be, there'll be things that happen that none of us can imagine. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. But I do see that the governor of New York now is putting the National Guard in the subway. As a New Yorker, what do you think of that? What do you think they'd say if he did it? Well, if he did it, it's for another reason. Oh, that was different. The fact that our checks on power have mostly failed and have actually become part of the threat is extremely concerning. If they are able to pull this off on Trump, don't think for a moment that they're gonna stop there. If they are able to pull this off on Trump, don't think for a moment that they're gonna stop there. Next will be the Republican Party, and then the rest of us as the government criminalizes opposition to the state. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. If you're still here, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. I post regular, long form, and short content, so make sure to keep checking back for more.